As I mentioned in a prior video, I want to show and demonstrate how to adjust this Mustang 2 front suspension. So what I did to start out with is get the frame completely level, level side to side and and. These tires are too big, as I've mentioned in the past. These tires are 28 inch. I'm going to be going about 24 inch. So this is going to be sitting a little bit high in the front end if I leave the rear end exactly the way I want it. So to compensate for that, I put two before blocks underneath the rear end so I can get the rear end up and get the rake and the stance that I want. These front control arms are perfectly level to the ground. Setting all this up with the loads not on it, the body, the radiator, all the fluids, battery, that's going to make this settle, which would throw off all of these dimensions. But these coilover shocks are adjustable. So this ride height is where I want it to be. So when I get it all loaded up and it settles, then I can just adjust it back up and everything's back where it should be. So what I have is just a degree dial here. Uh, it's just a gauge that will judge where everything is. When it comes to the caster, the caster is the angle of the spindle. So if I want to angle that spindle back a little bit so that the wheels kick out in a turn in both directions, then I'll adjust that back. And when it comes to the camber, my camber goes this way. I want to have the camber out just a hair. The reason for that is, as I've mentioned before, the setup for this suspension, there's, there's several ways you can do it. Drag racing, you do one way. Getting into slalom racing, obstacle courses, you want to do it a different way. But just for hot rodding and normal street use, I'm going to set this up to the Mustang specifications. The Mustang, being a sporty vehicle, has a lot of the similarities, and this actually is a Mustang 2 copy. So I'm going to use those specs. So what I'm after now is on my camber, I want it just a half a degree out at the top. So I'll just angle it slightly out, both sides, and then my caster, I want to go roughly about four degrees back. So I'm in that two to four degree angle. And then my toe, I want it to be slightly toed in, and that is just barely, like a, a fraction, <laughs> a half to a quarter of a degree. Otherwise, you start to get bump steer. So I don't want to go a whole lot, just slightly to keep it just a little bit toed in. <clears throat> and for those of you that want to do something like this and you want to know those numbers and you want to take notes, here's a copy of the notes for you. Um, numbers on it and that should get you with what I'm trying to do here. So what I'm using, I just got a piece of steel exhaust for this. I can put it up against the inside of the tire and I am at five degrees in. So it's way in, not at all what I want. So it's just a matter of Bringing that out. And it's binding up on me, so I'm probably going to have to take the load off of this a little bit. Real 
close, but I still got to cut a little bit further out. Now, there's two bolts on the top of this. As I move one bolt, it's going to change the direction of the A-arm, and it's going to change the position of the spindle. I want the spindle to lean back a little bit. So since I have to bring this tire out a little bit, if I take and loosen up this bolt and bring it out this way, it'll drop the spindle back. So I'll start with that and maybe I can get both of them adjusted at the same time. Now I've got my camber, <laughs> I keep checking my notes, I get the two mixed up. I've got my camber right where I want it. It's just a half a degree out at the top of the tire. Caster now, I want it to lean back. Now I'm going for about four degrees that way. I have it a pretty good angle right now, but I don't have my gauge on there. So once I get my gauge on it, I get, I'm right there. I got lucky. I, I nailed it. So what I'll do, just to confirm it and so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to take this tire off and get the camera coming from this angle so that you can see the position of that spindle and how it's leaned back. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got a straight edge going from the top of the spindle to the bottom of the spindle, just offset from that ball joint. And then you can see on my indicator that I'm right around four degrees, and that was my target. So this side is finished. These old uh, Mustang II style suspensions are really popular for the hot rodders because they're, they're so simple to attach and weld onto the frame and so simple to adjust. This is the slots when it comes to adjusting. It's just a matter of loosening those up and sliding this in and out for the camber. And then I can just take one of these and go in and out. And that brings this back and forth for the caster. Pretty simple. And then the bottom one is just fixed. And then by using coil over shocks, you can cut down on the cost by just using a coil and then a shock inside. But the beauty of a coil over is these adjustments. I can bring these two nuts up and it will push that A arm down. So right now I'm adjusting this all without the full load of the body. So for sure, once I get the body on and I get all the fluids and everything in it, these are going to settle and this control arm is going to be up a little bit too high. So it's just a matter of making adjustments right there and everything will settle back down. So I'll do the other side now and then we'll adjust the toe. So what I'm doing to adjust the toe is just simply putting a straight edge on both tires and then I can measure the front and measure the back. I'm 66 and a half at the front, and I'm 67 and a half at the back. So I've got some pretty serious toe in. So adjustment wise, I'm going to try to balance it out on this rack and pinion. Uh, I'll just judge it by the amount of threads on each end. 
I believe I can twist these with a wrench so I don't have to take the tie rod off of the spindle. So I'm going to try that first. Well, that was pretty close, but I went just a hair too far. Right now I'm 67 and 5 eighths in the rear and I'm 67 and 3 quarters in the front. So I need to just bring it about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe more, and it should be good. All right, I've got it where I want it. I'm really happy with it. So I will go ahead and tighten up these locking nuts, and then just so nothing moves, just to be sure, I'll go ahead and recheck all my measurements. All right, I am really happy with the way this all settled in. Uh, these boots got a little twisted in the adjustment. So I've got to get a little clamp on there and straighten those boots out. But front end is good now. I'm really happy with that. I've got it all set right where I want it so that I can now check it against the back end and make sure all four wheels are in alignment. 106 and a half. And I'm 106 and a quarter. So that tells me that that tire needs to go back, that tire needs to go forward. If I adjust all four bars, I'm going to throw my rear end off. Since it's triangulated, if, if I move either one of those, then it's going to shift the tail end left or right. So I only can adjust the bottom bars, but I know the top ones are perfect, so I don't want to touch those. One oh six and three eighths. And I'm about a sixteenth of an inch too far forward. I need to go another sixteenth, so a couple of turns. One six and three eighths. Now this one is pulled forward too. So now this side I've got to go back a little bit. So what it's doing, they're fighting each other. <laughs> so I finally got that side where I want it, but now it's kind of settled back on this side as well. One oh six and three eighths. And 106 and 38. Alright. I now have four wheel alignment. Stance, right height, everything is set exactly where I want it. Now, again, once I put the body on and I load everything all up, it's going to settle. But I have adjustable shocks on all four corners, so it'll make it really easy. But the key is setting the right height on the chassis. It doesn't matter how much load is on it. Once that is all set, it's dialed in. That's pretty exciting. All right, well, stay tuned till I, <laughs> actually, I guess I was just putting this aside and start doing the body work on the, on the body. Uh, I want to strip all the underneath side of the body, um, paint it all black, and then drop it on. Um, shouldn't take too long. I've got a lot of things going on this summer right now, so it's probably going to be a couple months before I can actually update it and do a video. But that's pretty exciting. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.